Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here so that we can take a peek at the week ahead and see where we want to go with things. The first card is Eight of Air, Tradition. The second card is One of Water, Happiness. The third card is Major Twelve, Perspective. The fourth card is Major Eighteen, Intuition. And the fifth card is Seven of Water, Energy, I, Mystery, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking ahead of myself there. Um, what I want you to notice is that we've had a few weeks in a row here where we really have a lot of emotion. And we've had a couple of weeks where thought and emotion bounce back and forth with each other. This tells me that this whole time period that we've been in is very much about harmonizing our thinking and our feeling with each other so that our hearts and our heads are working together in life. Pay very close attention to that as you go through this week. This is going to be a time period where you're kind of finalizing that work and bringing it, bringing it into a wholeness in you so that it feels natural for you to have your head and your heart working with each other instead of going in different directions. So we begin the week with tradition. Tradition would be things that you normally do. You do them because you do them that way. It's not a big, big mystery here at all. It's just this is the way you do things. Tradition is followed by happiness which tells me that the tradition that you're in at the beginning of the week is something that you enjoy doing. So enjoy it. Play with it. Be happy about the fact that you have that in your life. Be happy about what it brings to you. From happiness, we move into perspective. Perspective talks about being able to see something from different angles, like looking through a pic looking at a picture through different prisms or different lenses of a prism or something. Um, choose your perspective. When you're approaching any situation in life, you don't have to approach it from wherever you always have. You can approach it that way. You can approach it from a new angle and see what you see differently. Sometimes having a different perspective than what you're used to helps you to see possibilities that you weren't aware were there. From perspective, we move into intuition. Now, intuition and perspective combined can help balance each other. You can feel into different things, into different ways of looking at something when you're using your intuition. You can use your intuition to help you discern which perspective actually serves you best in any given situation. Your intuition is very active toward the end of the week. So I want you to make sure that you ground yourself well so that you can understand how your intuitive awarenesses actually fit into your life. From intuition, we move into mystery. And mystery tells us that there's something going on here that we don't fully understand. And with mystery, that something is usually a very pleasant surprise that we aren't aware of yet. So I want you to look into the mystery. Look at the things that you don't completely see clearly about your life or about the situation of the day and see where the surprise lies in that. See where the unimagined gift can show up in that, in that situation. So in summary for the week, we begin by being in a tradition that we enjoy and being happy about that tradition. From that wonderful foundation, we approach some situation that we're in from a perspective that we're not accustomed to having or a perspective that we are accustomed to having, but we're making a conscious choice about how we're going to look at that situation. 
and we're engaging our intuition to help us discern which perspective serves us best. From there, we're noticing a mystery in our world and exploring it to find the gifts that it holds for us. Enjoy this week of feeling and thinking into layers of life that maybe you don't normally explore, but that are really fun to look at anyway. Have a great week.